Hi. Welcome to our channel. Um, if you are new, thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm Charlotte. I'm Nick. And together we are the Mouse and Me. And we are currently halfway through our Florida 2019 vlog series. Um, back in September, we visited Florida for 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. And um, if you've been watching, obviously you'll know we're halfway through. If you haven't and you want to catch up, I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box below. Um, but we had Disney's hard for four days and we were a bit broken. <laughs> we were a lot broken. Very broken. <laughs> Um, so we decided to take a complete day off from the parks, but also from vlogging as well. So we didn't have any content for you guys for that day. Um, however, through the magic of YouTube, here's one we made earlier. Um, we're going to go all the way back to 60 days out and our fast pass booking day. Um, we booked all our fast passes before we went. Yep and um yeah this is what we did it's also a little bit of sponge, sponge in this one house rabbit yeah so if you haven't met sponge yet sponge features in this one so enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you soon see you soon bye hi everybody hope you're well um i'm a little bit excited today why am i excited or well, what day is it it's wednesday what day is it? It's Fast Pass Day! <laughs> we are 60 days out and today I get to put my Fast Pass I'm really, really excited. Sorry, um, that was a little bit squeaky. <laughs> I am a bit excited about this one. So we have already done a bit of planning. Obviously, we've already got our dining reservation sorted. Yep. We? Um, so all that is done and we have got an idea of which rides we want to Fast Pass. So... We're going to start that now. Obviously, you guys get to see it as well. Get to see um, which rides we're going for, and hopefully, fingers crossed, get. So, yeah. let's crack on. Let's go. Spongy. We sponge. Hi. We spell on the Hi. On the muffles. You look like you're going to fall over, mate. We sponge. Sponge come. Sponge. What? What's happening? Still asleep. No, he's awake. This is that thing. It's a fast pass guy. Hi, Spongy. What? Hello. Hi, I'm Sponge. Hi. Oh, mate. I can't actually believe that you're just sitting there, though. That's like pretty. <laughs> Hi. Pretty unheard of. What you doing? Good boy. Are you clever, duty? Clever little chubs. Anyway. Oh. Right. So, here we go. So, we have got our lists. Lists, please. Lists. We have got our lists. So, as Nick is just going to show you, let me see if I can... Is that gonna focus? There we go. So we've already, <laughs> right there, love. We've already um, created a list of which rides we definitely want to do, um, and which ones we want to fast pass. And we've created this list um, based on a few things. So pretty much. Um, which rides always have like massive long queue so like seven dwarves mine train we've not done that ride because every time we've been it's always had a massive long queue yeah i think, um, the, I think the lowest it got to last time was about three hours yeah and it's worth getting a fast pass for we couldn't get one last time we were there um obviously things like uh navi river journey yeah 
and Flight of Passage. Um, they weren't open last time we were in Florida, so we've got those on the list. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna crack on and fingers crossed we do actually get some of the ones that we want. Um, a little trick that we're gonna try this time around yeah. um, is to start further back in our holiday. So we're not starting on the first day that we're there. We're gonna start at the end and work back to the beginning. Um, in theory, that might mean we get more fast passes. Might. We might. We'll see. We'll see if it works. So as I say, we're logged into um, My Disney Experience on the laptop and also um, you've got it on your phone, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, just in case. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be alright and hopefully the internet doesn't die and we'll be okay. <laughs> Let's go. Right then. So, we want one near the end, don't so we? Near the end is the 17th. What park are we in on this day? We are in Magic Kingdom. Which is that one? Filter by time. Filter so, by ride. Let's Seven Dwarfs, because that's going to be probably the hardest one to get. That's the one that we definitely want, isn't it? Nine twenty-five. Yep, get that one booked in. Is that an early day? Uh, in the book. Uh, late till close. So do you want to go a little bit later? Yeah. Nine forty. Do ten o'clock. Yeah, but even then, the fast pass queue will be a long queue. Then do nine forty. We have a fast pass. Fast pass pass book. We have one fast pass. And the first one that we've done is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So that was top of the list um, for the Magic Kingdom Park. We definitely wanted to get that done. Yeah. Um, so we've gone to the last day, our last full day that we are in Magic Kingdom um, on this holiday. And it's the first ride that we've gone to get a fast pass for. And we got one. Uh, big Thunder or Slash? What, before or after lunch? Well, I'm thinking, do you want to do Big Thunder before lunch? Yes. Because you're not going to want to do Big Thunder after lunch. No. So do you want to do that at 10.45? We've got 9.40 to 10.40, haven't we? Yeah. Um, what time is lunch? It's lunch 1 o'clock. If we do 11.55, yeah. because then there's, we've got 11.55 until 1.55, yeah. do Big Thunder and then we can go for lunch, yeah. yeah? And then that actually gives us time to do a bit more of the park up near like Little Mermaid and all of that, yeah. and then do some of that park over there and then go over to the other side, yeah? Scooch around. And actually, if we book them early in the morning, chances are you can go back onto the app later in the day and if there's spare fast passes, you can rebook additional fast passes. Isn't that after you've used one though? Because yeah. you can only hold three at any one time, yeah? Because yeah? then you guys can see what we're doing. What am I looking for? Buzz Lightyear? Buzz Lightyear. So, view details and more times. So after lunch, so we want... 3.30ish. So that would be half three till half four? Yeah. Or do you want four until five? No, do half three till half four, because then... We've still got time to do other bits and pieces. Yeah. For Animal Kingdom. 15th. Ooh, extra magic hours as well. Is that an early day or a late day? So the way that we, let me get you in focus, there we go. The way that we work our holiday, um, because it is that it's a holiday, um, and we do still need time off. So we schedule in like early and late days. So normally towards the beginning of our holiday, um, we'll have early days because our body clocks will still be on UK time and you'll be up at like four o'clock in the morning and you're raring to go and you're excited. 
um, and then a little bit more towards the end of the holidays, sort of the, the second week-ish, we start doing um, slightly later days um, and also we kind of slot in a couple of pool days or a couple of springs days so that we can just kind of chill out and, and relax because it's a very active holiday would yeah. be the word <laughs> maybe that I use. It's not a sitting down holiday, it's not a beach holiday. Um, it is quite a busy one, isn't it's it? A lot so, of walking. And we do like to pack lots of stuff in. So obviously throughout this, you're gonna hear me say, is that an early day, is that a late day? It just gives me a rough time of what time we're going up in the morning. Early. <laughs> yeah, like early, late. Is Charlotte just gonna to wanna to stay in bed all day? Yeah, probably. So. Right, so Animal Kingdom. Is a normal day. Oh, it's a normal it's a day. It's a normal day. Okay, so we have normal days as well, which is just whatever time you happen to get up. Now, 10 o'clock? Yeah, let's go 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. This is for Flight of Passage. Are we gonna do Navi River Journey? Whoa, let me do this one first. <laughs> One thing at a time, boy, one thing at a time. We have got Fly of Passage, yay! So that's a 10 until 11. Yeah. And this is still for the 15th, yeah. yeah. So it does kind of help if you know which parks you're going to on which days. Um, we have a rough plan. Something that we do is that we go to Epcot on day one. Um, we will then do either Animal Kingdom or um, Hollywood Studios and we will then do Magic Kingdom last. Um, there is a reason for this. Um, most people when they get there, everybody's desperate to see the castle and to be fair, like we, sorry let me shove myself, we are too. Um, but the first park that everybody goes to is Magic Kingdom and it makes it really busy. Um, most check-ins are on a Sunday night, so Monday is when you've got fresh batch of um, people in the parks and most people will go to um, Magic Kingdom on a Monday, which means Epcot is normally really quiet on a Monday. Um, and then by the time you kind of get to Wednesday, Thursday, everybody else is like Animal Kingdom, Epcot, wherever. Magic Kingdom, in theory, will be a little bit quieter. And it's just something that I've always done and it always seems to work and it, yeah, so. Hence why we know which parks we're gonna be in on which days. Um, that really does help if you're trying to book fast passes. So which one are we going for now? So if we go for Navi River Journey. No. Oh. What do you want, Lion King? Festival of the Lion King? Let's book Festival of the Lion King. That's going to be a two battery day, that is. Sorry. Um, Festival of the Lion King. Where are we eating on that day? We are at Tusker's in the house evening. at 7 at 5.05. So in the evening? Yeah, and then with Rivers of Light. So my point is that we can get like a lunchtime show of this, yeah. perhaps. One more. Sorry. Fingers crossed. To be fair, when you are sitting at 60 days out, it's not too bad. No. I've been suffering with an advent calendar of illness. Nick has gifted me um, some weird lurgy. And it's been a different symptom every day. It's not been enjoyable. I'm a sharer. You are definitely a sharer, but that's one thing that I really wish you hadn't gifted me. Have you got that one now? I have. 350, yeah, confirm. Yeah. Okay, people. Hi, Sponge. Sorry, Sponge is playing. <laughs> um, sorry, Epcot, Epcot, did we say, on the 16th, on the 16th. yeah. What am I looking for? So we've got Test Track, Frozen Ever After, Soaring and Spaceship Earth. Okay, let's go Frozen Ever After. 
20 past 10. Yeah. Is, is that a, where are we having breakfast? Um, hotel. I think, unless you want a food and wine breakfast. We might have a, have a wine breakfast. And then after your wine breakfast, would you like to go on soaring? Yes. Mission Space. Spice your path. Mission Spice is the vomity one, Spice Your Perth is the Judy Dench one. We're going Judy Dench. <laughs> Can't say that. Cannot say that. Oh, sponge. How many flip you around do you need to see? Oh, no. oh he's just got up. He proper flumped. Hang on, let me turn you around. Oh, mate, are you sleeping? Aren't you sleeping? Oh, little dude. Yeah, apparently Sponge has had a busy day eating my sofa. And you're about to run out of battery. Yeah. So we're just going to continue doing this. Um, we've got quite a few more to do. So we will catch up with you after we've done. And we will go through which fast passes we've managed to get. Yeah. So we will see you shortly. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so we've just finished doing our fast passes. It took us all of two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, so we've pretty much got everything we wanted to get apart from Alien Swelling Saucers and Slinky Dog Dash yeah. that just weren't any fast passes available, which is a little bit frustrating, but that's what happens with, with fast passes. Um, so we're just going to have to queue up for those ones, but other than that, really nice. We've got like quite an even spread over the days that we're there. Um, so we've done fast passes for each day and um, for each part that we're in, so it should be okay. And it was relatively stress-free. The website only crashed twice while I was on the laptop and thankfully Nick could still carry it on on the phone, so not too bad. So yeah, we've got everything we want. So we need to make sure that Sponge goes to bed and then it's our turn to go to bed because it's work again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, have fun. And then we will update you a little bit more, a little bit nearer the time, but here's to 60 days out. 60 days out. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye.